so I woke up a little bit early today. Uh, I felt like I had enough sleep and uh, looks like there's gonna be quite a few black belts fighting today. Usually in these uh, local Bahrain competitions, I'm the only Bahraini in the black belt category. There aren't any more competitive black belts, which is nice, you know, but it's a little bit more pressure. But the thing is, in my mind, I don't have, I don't have a lot to prove. I think I've proven myself and then some on the outside and here it's just about having a good time, testing myself, testing my new game, um, representing my team and just uh, trying to strengthen the jiu-jitsu scene competitively in Bahrain. I'm not quite sure how many people are going to fight with me. Sometimes these people don't show up so it'll depend really. Maybe they'll put the light guys together, maybe they'll put uh, everybody in one open weight. What I know is that nobody's registered at my weight. Last time I had to actually, uh, I was registered at 77 and I had to fight like uh, in the 94 category, which I don't mind, you know, as long as I am fit and healthy, um, I'm more than willing to fight with everybody, you know. It's, I think, I think it's very important that no matter what conditions, I show up ready and Hopefully in time that'll encourage the other black belts to compete as well because from what I can see there's a lot of black belts now in Bahrain so hopefully this will incentivize them. I think my high point um, this year was at World Pro and I had to do like a, a massive cut to fight in the 69 category and it paid off you know I did very well in the competition but uh, after that it was very important to start building up uh, uh, muscular mass and explosiveness so we're working on that in phases so right now I'm not very concerned with my weight I think I went through the hypertrophy phase uh, functional hypertrophy don't want to gain inefficient muscle right now we're just working on explosiveness and uh, I think that's uh, more neurologically taxing on the body but uh, I'm good for it, I'm good for it. Like, like I said, I uh, didn't really have to make weight this time. They're gonna put, in, put me together with a bunch of heavier guys, which uh, I guess the advantage is that I really don't have to concern myself with anything other than my performance and my game and my health. Other than that, uh, I think my next weight cut will be in August for um, the Asian Games in Jakarta. But uh, that's a ways off and I'm slowly working my way up to that in a way that will be a lot more effective and uh, organized than what I did for World Pro. I'm not, I'm not particularly worried about that either. I don't, think my way, I, I don't think I was made for one particular weight category. I don't think my Jiu-Jitsu is limited to one weight. I think I just have to be well, be trained, be healthy. And with that, I can show up and do my best at whatever weight category. Now we're gonna get one of the essential things every competitor must have. You are a loser if you don't do this. Morning. Hi, how are you? Good. I would like one black coffee and one flat white. 2.7. Thank you very much. You see, for coffee, in my opinion, in my uh, humble opinion, your coffee needs to be black. Then you can say that you are addicted to coffee. If you add syrup and sugar and creamer and whatever to your coffee and you say, I'm addicted to coffee, I'm, I'm not gonna buy that. Maybe you're addicted to sugar, but not to coffee. So yeah, yeah, and the effect that a good black, disgusting black coffee has on your body is completely different. <laughs> Jesus Christ. My brother's not answering. Let's try Kasha. This is a long shot, but we can try calling my dad. He's a referee. He usually dumps his phone in his bag. I'm getting no love. I'm getting no love today. Seriously. One more. We'll try Mohammed Isa. Just to make sure that nobody loves me. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Thank you. Goodbye. Captain Mohammed. Thank you. Sheikh Barak, how are you? Thank you. Uh, Captain Mohammed, I have a question. How many days are you going to have a day? Yes. How many days are you going to have a day? How many days are you going to have a day? How many days are you going to have a day? Yes. 
Shech. God damn it! I just found out that um, there will be nobody in my weight or the weight after that. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to fight uh, two other guys. One of them is under 94 and the other one is under uh, 110, which is cool. Um, the 94 guy is really good, this guy from GFC. I beat him last time by, uh, I think, three or four advantages. Uh, obviously, I have to be a little bit more strategic with these guys. Um, probably don't want to mess around with takedowns for too long. A tight game, you know, keep my feet to myself, keep my hands to myself, and then when I get an opportunity, I go rah, rah, rah. So, yeah, um, just gotta be good, gotta be smart, and uh, this is the time to prove myself to myself, of course. I have nothing to prove to anybody. It's gonna be a good time, and hopefully, uh, hopefully, my teammates will do well too. So, it's good that the black belts fight first, we get that out of the way. And then I can stay for the students and coach them without any extra added pressure. And then Captain Abdullah Iliya Wahin, Basilith Gala, oh my god. Um, I don't think I'm going to be there. 94, 85, what? Okay, 85. Yeki 94, Yeki 85, what? What's it? Monday Yeki 94, Yeki 69, Yeki 110, Mascaranas. Barakallah.
So this is it guys, um, one of my opponents did come, after all he was registered in the 85 category, Wagner, really tough guy, um, solid guy, I think I've seen him around in Sao Paulo back when I used to live there. And uh, I went in like I said without any pressure, 
Um, but it was a great fight and you know, very tough. We started off very tight, very, very close, toe to toe. He tried to do some leg locks. I tried to do some leg locks. And then when I got ahead, I swept him and I managed to get a great pe pressure passing position and I passed. Then I was ahead by a significant amount of points at that point. I, was, I really wanted to finish with the submission. I tried to finish, but he's very explosive, so he managed to flip me, he got on top. We kept fighting there for leg locks again. And that's how the fight ended. Now, much respect to the guy. Uh, like I said, I just want to incentivize more and more black belts in Bahrain to fight. And uh, I'm just really glad for the turnout. We got the heavier guys fighting around now. So it's pretty good. So I'm two for two now. Bahrain Jiu-Jitsu League round one, gold medal. Round two, gold medal. We got round three coming up. So hopefully good times are coming for all of us, if not most of us. Thank you for the support, guys. I'll see you next time.